Moses opened the Red Sea. David defeated Goliath. The walls of Jericho collapsed. Many in the Bible overcame, and so can you. It seemed impossible for this person. Nothing is impossible for he who believes. Starting now, beyond living. It is now 8.30 a.m. and you will be with us until 9 a.m. You can prepare your cup or bottle of water for the moment of prayer. Praise God. A special good morning to all of you. Welcome to the Beyond the Limits program. And my friend, today we are going to show to you some Beyond Limits testimony. People that have used their supernatural faith, people that have not accepted the situation that they were in, and their lives were completely transformed and change it and the same thing can happen to you because there is no evil there is no problem that will be able to hold your faith to hold you down you just need to take my friend a step of faith and you are going to be able to see the manifestation of God's power in your life today in this morning the Bible says like this here in the book of Judges chapter 6 or chapter 7 on verse 3 the Bible says, Now therefore, proclaim in the hearing of the people, saying, Whoever is fearful and afraid, let him turn and depart at once from Mount Gilead. And 22,000 of the people returned, and 10,000 remained. So my friend, you see that when Gideon, he proclaimed in the, he, in the ears of people and they heard him. Those of you who are afraid, those of you who are fearful, you better turn back and go home. In other words, those of you who are not willing to use your faith against the situation, sit down, relax, be conformed with this problem. And then people were, they were conformed. You cannot be conformed. You cannot accept, my friend, this problem. We are here to help you. And very soon I'm going to teach you what you have to do for you to use your faith against this problem and overcome. Don't be afraid of this incurable disease. Don't be afraid of this pain. Don't be afraid of this problem because you will be able to overcome. We are going to watch a testimony right now. Mr. Sunda had a problem in the foot. And uh, using his faith, he was able to defeat that infirmity. He was able to overcome that problem. We are going to watch his life story. And very soon I'm going to be placing names here into the holy oil. 389-9880 and 709-8062. Those are the numbers that we have for you to call, for you to WhatsApp or text, for us to place your name here into the holy oil. Mr. Sunda. My name is Sunda Lahuri. I was sick for many years and um, I went to the um, doctor and the doctor told me that I have diabetes. So I co continue feeling unwell and using tablets and tablets and tablets and um, I wasn't feeling so up to standard. Feeling down and dizzy and stiffness. Can't think properly. I was driving a van and all of a sudden I see a 25 cent to the side of the van and I mash it and I'm, after that I, uh, I see um, like I take a pen and you make a little dot. It blew. So I pass my hand on it and, and scratch it and I see that will pass off. I said but I ain't taking no chance. I'm going to the doctor and he tell me that um, they have to cut off the tooth. Go and get a second opinion in the hospital. So when I went to the hospital they um, sent me up in Ward 6 and keep me and they do an operation on the, on the, underneath the foot. One on the, on, the, on the left toe, the big fattest toe, 
They find two stone on this two stone they, they on the the the, the toe they, they had a big hole like this. Three twenty five cent could have fit in it. Three operation, three days. First first they can do one operation, next day I hear the doctor saying they have it a complete. We have to it has still seen something. They do a second operation. Then the third day they I hear the same, it still have something again. And they do um and they do a third operation. But springing water it was black and all between all the two. It was rotten. Real rotten and springing black water. I well I say well I, when I hear I, I don't know. I really I was feeling I couldn't talk. Couldn't move the foot move the foot, so I want to know what's going on. And the doctor tells me the foot started to swell on. The doctor said we got to cut off the foot. Well, make it. I, I I couldn't even talk up to this day. You know, I speechless. So I stay in the hospital about two and a half months. And from while I was in the hospital, I see the program on t on the TV. And I see, when I leave the hospital, I leave and start to go to the universal church. I had to get a stick to walk because I couldn't balance. I was you know, can't walk by myself. I couldn't go walk up the step to go up the universal church. While going every day, you know, as people going up for healing and all, and I listen to what the pastor say, and he quoting the scripture, and this is how I go and study, study, and, and this is how I get healed, and, and I see the, f the flesh grow back and on the foot. I see people getting healed, and I, so I start recovering and recovering my memory and everything like this. My life today, God make the impossible come possible, and today I, I feel better, whatever sin, sicknesses or weakness that I have in my body, by my faith, and I believe until Jesus healed me, and I want to thank him for that. Well, I could tell, what I have to say is to, to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. What is impossible with man is possible with God. It's very simple to watch the Living Faith Network online. Visit watch.ulfn.org. On the page, click on the register option and fill out the on-screen form. You will also be required to confirm your account by email. Next, return to the watch.ulfn.org page. Once you are there, click on the option 24 hour stream. And there you go. Invest in your faith daily with live programs and testimonies that will prove to you that faith in action brings real results. Register today for free. So friend, what a great testimony. What a great testimony is the testimony of Mr. Sunda. He overcame that problem. He was not afraid. You cannot be afraid of this HIV, this cancer. So many people, they have this on their mind. Am I going to die now? Am I going to die? My question is, are you ready to die? Do you want to die? If you don't, if you are not ready. So my friend, psh, hey, 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 let us use our faith. Let us use our faith together. And you are going to come out of this situation. Gideon told them, all of you who are afraid, go back home. And if you are afraid, if you are fearful, it's better for you not to watch, my friend, this program. Because we won't be able to help you. But if you are determined to overcome this problem, stick with me. Because I'm going to teach you how to overcome. I have here... Catherine, she suffers with nerves problem. Catherine, your name is here into the holy oil. I also have Rosetta Ward. She has eye problems. And also I have here Shirley from Sangre Grande. Dizziness and back pain. Your name is here into the holy oil. I also have here this person that says anonymous from Aranguez. Financial problem and also needs a breakthrough. And here says, Bina, she has family problem. This other person means uh, uh, gravies, cannot walk. She's injured, her right foot. And I also have here uh, Mrs. Ramdal from Gasparillo, lump in the breast and also knee pains. My friend, we are going to be placing some of the names here into the holy oil. You can just call me or send me a WhatsApp or the text 389-9880 and also 
8062. Those numbers are the numbers of our helpline. You can call and you are going to speak with one of the pastors or the counselors. And they are going to have your name placed into the holy oil. You are going to see how the Universal Church has been helping people in this country. Both spiritually and also physically. You are going to see how many people dressed in this uniform that you see here. They have been helping a lot of lives. So you are going to watch now uh, more about the Unisocial. The Universal Church, continuing with our Unisocial work, has not stopped and taken great strides to help the needy and those who have been calling in distress due to the difficulties they are facing at this time to provide for their families. This is why we have been preparing and packaged numerous samples for distribution in the community of Marabella and all over this station. Hello Pasta, hello viewers from our program Beyond Limits. Right now I am here in São Fernando and we are going out now to the community of Marabella, right? Yes, Marabella Pasta. We are going out to the community of Marabella. As you can see behind us, we have some box of food and we are going out to help those who are in need. You know that because of this pandemic, Many people, they lost their job. Some people, they got their salary reduced. And we know that in this exact moment, there are many people that they need help. And Randy, let me ask you, you don't you know very well the community of Marbella. How is the situation of that community? Well, Pastor, the situation of that community, there are many people that they need because many times we go there to evangelize. And when we go, we see these situations inside the people's homes. It is bad. Sometimes they don't have food access for water. So the situation is pretty bad. So they, yes, they are in need of food supplies. And you see, dear friend, whenever you help us, whenever you team up with us, you help those who are in need. We have here some volunteers from the, the region here of San Fernando, people from Princess Town. And this is the work of the Unisocial to help those who are in need. We are going to live now here, our church, our headquarters in San Fernando, and we go there to that community to help those who are in need. Follow us. You can continue supporting us in this great week of reaching needy families by giving your contribution of non-perishable items, you can also drop it off to any universal church within your region. If you do like to team up with us, if you do like to send your donation, you can call on this number that you can see because through your help, we are going to help those who are in need. Praise God. So, friend, those are the people that the Universal Church have been helping every week. And... Uh, Every week we have been managing with your help, with the help of many. Those of you that you have been helped, I'm very glad, I'm very pleased. And I'm here personally telling you thank you so very much 
to help us. I can say so very much because that is for a very good cause. Those of you that you have dropped into the burial some food items, you have dropped your donation, you drop water, canned food, toiletries, we can continue doing the same thing. You can drive or you can call us. Let us know because, my friend, we can arrange a time specific for you for a pickup or for a drop-off because, my friend, our desire is to help as many Trinidadians and Tobagonians as possible. So make sure, my friend, you help. Sometimes there are people that they have things in the cupboard of their house that they are not using they are not going to use so my friend take it it has no use for you anymore that can that pound of something but for someone else it will have a very good and special use so friend you can just schedule a pickup this number that you can see now you can call you can uh uh, uh arrange a drop-off or pick up, we are going to have a driver passing by. I have here Sheldon, and uh, the, uh, here says the request is because he left his home. We are going to pray for Sheldon. I also have Carmen. She has body pains. I have here as well David from Belmont. Court case and wants to be free from spiritual uh, problem. And also, he wants to be uplifted. And I also have here this person. Uh, he says, also, Carmen, my entire body hurting from my neck down. My grandson left home and is missing. We are going to pray for you, Miss Carmen, and also for your grandson. My friend, very soon I'm going to prophesy that the sickness and this disease will disappear from your body. It will disappear from your life. And stick with us. Gideon said, those who are afraid, those who are fearful, you can go back home. You don't need to be here. You are not ready to go to war. You are not ready to fight. So, my friend, you have to be ready to face the sicknesses, this pain, this disease. You have to be ready to fight against it. We are going to be helping you. We are going to prophesy that in the name of Jesus, you are going to be healed. But fear not. Fear not. Because, my friend, God is with you. 389-9880-709-8062. You can call this number to have your name placed here into the Holy Oil. And we are going to pray for you. Let's go there to the testimony of Natasha. If you have a problem that is beyond limits, you can call 389-9880 or 709-8062 for help. My name is Natasha John. On the 25th of March 2014, I got a phone call from the daycare that my son attend telling me that, you know, come quick, he's not breathing properly. Upon my arrival, his eyes was rolled up in his head, his belly was big and hard, and he was gasping for breath. You know, they tried pumping out his stomach, and while they were pumping out his stomach, they realized that some of the food that he ate went into his lungs instead of going into his stomach. And that caused a whole domino effect from lungs to liver to kidney everything went bad there was air that was lodged underneath his both arms squeezing in his lungs from expanding so that he couldn't breathe properly because they had never came across anything like that they tried to stabilize him they told me you know mommy we tried to, to like sedate him and get him stable overnight and in the morning, he took a turn for the worse. His carbon dioxide level, supposed to be 30%, it was 200%. His blood pressure was reading all 160 over 120. You know, I declared life over my son, buddy. I went into the room and his, he was looking really bad. His belly was big, he was puffy, you know, and he wasn't breathing on his own, he was on life support. So, I went to church, I carry his pity with me, and I let pastor pray on it, you know. So I just want to thank God for bringing my son through. Today he is doing really good. He has improved a lot. 
he's very normal. Perhaps with all the situation the world is facing nowadays, you feel lonely, frustrated, and have no one to talk to. Perhaps you're under quarantine and isolated from loved ones, and going to church and speaking to a pastor face to face is no longer an option. Thinking about you, the Universal Church created the online pastor live chat. 24 hours a day, pastors are on standby to listen to you, give a word of faith, and pray for you and your family. Completely free and confidential. To access this service, visit ulfn.org slash online pastor. When you click on the specific problem or the speak to a pastor button, a dialog box will pop up. Fill in your information. Agree to the terms and begin chatting immediately. You have three options, text, voice, and video. Need to speak to a pastor today? Just visit ulfn.org slash online pastor. Available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, free to all. So friend, if God healed her son, he can heal you also. He can set you free as well. Don't be afraid of the sicknesses. Don't be afraid of this problem. Because we will have the way out for you. I have here Frankie uh, Deep Charam. Ho um, heart in, and chest and also back problem. I have here this person, um, Kalistra Hill from Arima. She needs a general prayer. I also have here Cecil John, business is low, family protection from jealousy. We are going to be praying on your behalf. As you can see here, we have plenty of the names of people that want us to pray on their behalf. We are going to continue putting names here into the holy oil throughout the day. We also will have the miracle hour at 1 p.m. And also we are going to have at 5 p.m., the strong nation and the pastors, Pastor Junior, Pastor Marcos, they will also be placing names here into the holy oil. I have my water in my hands. You should grab your water, your bottle, your glass, because right now we are going to pray on your behalf. But before I pray, let me tell you this. When Gideon, he took a decision to go against his enemies, he knew they were 135,000. In the amount of men that he had, they were only 300. But although they were 300, yet he was able with the help of God to overcome those enemies, to overcome those problems. And also with the help of God, you are going to be able to overcome this disease this infirmity, this sickness, because I'm going to prophesy to you right now that you are healed, you are free, and you are blessed. And if you do believe there where you're at, it, it will come to pass. It's going to happen. Jesus sent the word to the son of that man, and right on the spot, he was healed, he was free, and he was delivered. And so it's going to happen to you. Hold your water now in your hands. Close your eyes. Let us talk to God now. My God, in the name of your son, Jesus, your people, they have, Lord, this water into their hands. And here, through the Beyond Limits program, we ask your Father for you to bless, consecrate it, and anoint it. Because in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, Lord, we prophesy and we determine that after this person drinks of it, my God, their lives will be blessed. Their bodies will be healed. Those that we have placed their names here, that they are in pain. They have sicknesses. They have diseases. They have problems that the doctors cannot help them out. Father, heal them. Deliver them. I send a word of healing to you right now. I send a word of deliverance. I send a word of blessings. Be healed. Be free. 
and be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I also pray on behalf of the nation, Trinidad and Tobago. And in the name of Jesus, my God, I prophesy peace. I prophesy blessings upon this country. And in Jesus' name, do not allow this violence to keep increasing, to keep destroying the lives of many people. Bless the prime minister, the other ministers, the police officers. Bless my father, all the counselors of each and every area. Area, the doctors, the nurses that have been doing their very best to help us to have my father a blessed life. In Jesus' name, I surrender them all into your hands and I'm determined that they are all blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. So my friend, you may drink of your water now and be blessed. Amen. Praise God. So friend, we are almost at the end of our participation here. And I would like to remind you, today at 1, we are going to have Pastor Junior and also Pastor Marcos at the Strong Nation. And this week, it's going to be uh, our last week for now here on CNC3 because, my friend, after this pandemic, after when the situation gets back to normal, we are going to be back here at the same time every single day from Monday to Friday. So, my friend, this week is going to be one last week for now. We are going to pause, but for now, we are going to take a break of our uh, Beyond Miracles. But yet, you can continue watching us every morning through this channel that you see here right now, Trinidad and Tobago Universal Church. You can go on this link and you are going to be able to continue watching us every morning. Every morning you are going to get your prayer uh, in the Beyond Limits program. For now, have yourself a very blessed Tuesday. See you. The Universal Church in taking on this great responsibility of being an advocate for the less fortunate in society. Those who have been deprived of having food on their tables in this difficult time to feed their families has not only gone above and beyond with great effort to ensure that anyone who comes to us is more than able to receive a hamper to support their household. And in doing so, we the Universal Church have not received any funding from any institution. But have received help from its faithful members, dedicated pastors, volunteers and those who have been donating. When we are in front of the supermarkets with our special food drives all over this nation. Perhaps with all the situation the world is facing nowadays, you feel lonely, frustrated, and have no one to talk to. Perhaps you're under quarantine and isolated from loved ones and going to church and speaking to a pastor face to face is no longer an option. Thinking about you, the Universal Church created the online pastor live chat. 24 hours a day, pastors are on standby to listen to you, give a word of faith and pray for you and your family. Completely free and confidential. To access this service, visit ulfn.org slash online pastor when you click on the specific problem or the speak to a pastor button a dialog box will pop up fill in your information agree to the terms and begin chatting immediately you have three options text, voice, and video. 
Need to speak to a pastor today? Just visit ulfn.org slash online pastor. Available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, free to all. You have been watching Beyond Limits.